as the backlash of technology grows, the debates about its ethics deepen. People start to think in more complex ways about the effect on technology when we don't have blind trust in the companies that we think of as defining internet and defining technology. Are these devices actually helping us? The smartest people in the world made these with the best technology and the most money. But did they make these devices to enrich our lives or just to suck away our attention? We built a system to try to get people to come together, to make the world more open and connected. And here we have an election in the most powerful country on earth that is hacked in certain ways by a small group of Russian disinformation artists, by a bunch of teenage trolls in Macedonia. And that has led to the election of someone whose fundamental philosophy of how the world works is the antithesis of the fundamental philosophy of how the world should work of the people who built the platforms. work is going to be redefined by the norms of the coronavirus era, where our sense of what technology can do, what it should do, what it shouldn't do, what it can't do, all those debates are being reopened, where we're going to think again and deeply about our devices. We're going to think again and deeply about the kind of work we can do. And where ideally, in the best case scenario, we'll all have lots of conversations about ethical tech, efficient tech, and we'll be able to rebuild society as we come out of the coronavirus crisis, as I sure hope we do in the coming months, we'll be able to rebuild society in a way that's better.